They are the voice for thousands of your neighbors. They stand up for the homeless, the elderly, children, and families in crisis. They are the social workers who look at difficult situations in a holistic way. They help people increase their ability to solve problems, cope with stressors, and get to the resources they need. My name is Mark Murphy and I'm a foster home licensing worker with New Hanover County Department of Social Services. Mark is a transplant from Ohio and has been with the New Hanover County Department of Social Services for over 20 years. A foster home licensing specialist, Mark and his colleagues work with about 120 families who have volunteered as foster parents. He and his wife themselves are former foster parents taking in 11 children over the course of eight it years. Probably was uh, the most significant uh, substantive thing that I, I think I've done with, with uh, my life. And, uh, but Mark actually wears two hats. He was called at the age of 13 to become a minister, which he pursued as an undergrad at Defiance College in the Buckeye State. Now, in addition to social work, Mark is a pastor at Rocky Point United Methodist Church. But having that calling, I, I just kind of perceived in my mind that I'd go to school and into seminary and, and uh, just kind of be in the pastor, pastoral role. And, and it just, God's had different plans and I've just found myself with one foot in social work and one foot in ministry for 30 some years now and, and it just... Both jobs, he says, work well together, like a hand in glove. His most special memory comes from early in his career, working with a family with five children and one in particular. And then the day years later when the mail came. An invitation uh, for me to uh, attend his uh, college graduation uh, as a social worker. Over and, the years, uh, he's seen a number of social workers come and go from the profession. The job can take a toll. When uh, you've hit the, the end of the day, and some days might be 16-hour days or, or whatever, but, but you, you just uh, trust then in your coworkers and in places where they're placed, whether it's foster parents or group homes, and you know, you, you uh, truly the saying, it takes a village, uh, you know, you depend on the village. Social work is a diverse field and one that affects the lives of adults. Regina Anderson, adult home specialist. Regina Anderson is one of about 18 social workers whose key focus is on the welfare and safety of adults in our community. She and her co-workers at the New Hanover County Department of Social Services pay visits to the county's 11 adult care facilities and three family care homes to help them stay in compliance with state regulations. You know, when I'm in the facility, I feel like I have an obligation to make sure their needs are being met. So that means, you know, I do chart reviews, you know, I call physicians, I talk to the families to see if there's any concerns that, that need to be addressed. A native of Duplin County, Regina attended Pembroke State on a full basketball scholarship. She still holds the school record for rebounds. She married her college sweetheart, and it was in college where she decided on her career goal. I think when I was growing up, I wanted to be a school teacher like most little girls. Um, then it kind of went to business, and once I got into school, I took a class in an introduction to social work, and it was there, I was like, hmm, I think this is what I want to do. Regina and her family moved to Wilmington after, like so many others, they decided to relocate after a vacation here. With her positive outlook, she just knew she could make a difference in someone's life. And with the growing senior population here, there is no shortage of needs. Well, I have three kids of my own, so I love kids, but I just love the adults. Because, you know, like I said earlier, you know, some, some adults, they're very lonely. And just to go in and, and talk with them, you just get a warm feeling that you put a smile on someone's face. Another part of her job is to investigate allegations of abuse, neglect, or exploitation of the elderly or disabled that originate in the client's home. The department also serves as guardians for 125 adults who have been declared incompetent. And they're seeing more and more younger adults with mental health and substance abuse issues. Her experience with being a social worker and ensuring the care of others goes much deeper than with the clients she serves. She knows her clients firsthand as she too is caring for an elderly parent. 
Social workers like Regina may help find room at one of the area's nursing homes or long-term care facilities. Placement at an adult care home isn't cheap. It can run as much as six or $7,000 a month. So for the folks who, due to the expense, remain in their home, it's her job to match them up with resources like in-home care to help them stay independent. Both of the social workers you just met have a lot in common. Although the people they serve have very different needs, their mission is the same to enhance and maintain the quality of life for people in New Hanover County. And that's Mark Murphy and Regina Anderson, just two of the more than 1,700 New Hanover County employees working 24-7, 365 to serve you.